Winner. Yeah. And so we played in Winners. And this was like the first time I ever played in Ice Climbers. The first time, like even in Friendlies. Yeah. And then, and then, I was like, okay, I'm not gonna be that fox, it just gets wobbled. Yeah. So then, I took the first stock, and gave him one of Yoshi's. Uh, then he got like a tilt wobble or something, and then he got another, and then wobbled again. Yeah. Another time, and then I got four stock in two, so all yeah. stock losses were wobbles. Yeah. Every one. Then, then we played in Losers Finals. Same uh, tournament? Yep. Okay. Yeah. The first two games were pretty commanding by him. It wasn't nearly as bad as winners, but lost pretty solidly. Yeah. Uh, so then, game three, Pokemon Stadium. Took the first stock of Sopo. Uh, then, I like, just got a burst of momentum, and... See, well, it's RGN today. That's like the second box of schools. Crazy. Yeah, Mises is actually really good at this matchup. It doesn't look like it right now, but this is not the same Sheik that we were just watching. Uh, yeah, Bobby, yeah. Bobby Sheik, um, Johnny Sheik, and now Mises Sheik. Uh, Weedle running the Sheik gauntlet right here in the final stretch of the tournament. Oh my god, he's done that fair on the turn up to recover like two or three times now. It's actually yeah, super sick. Is. Aren't you supposed to like up the Stitch. He's already so good for that. Like, Eddie. Wait, did they, they already pull that other stitch game one? I Wait, not uh, here. This is game one. Yeah, that was oh a lot of stuff. Yeah, but uh, oh the God. the green farmer Peach just has has better RNG got, than all the other Peaches. Got a cause bomb? It's like a it's like a class buff, you know. Yeah, he's gotten like either a bomb, a stitch, or a Saturn, like nearly every set at least once today. Yeah, um, he's, he's really been going in, but Meeseeks, despite losing the first stocks fairly quickly, yeah. is now in a situation to uh, go even yeah. with Weedle, but... It is like when you're actually guarding on with Fox there, uh, where you gotta decide if you want to bear again and get the guaranteed hit, or try to end it with the up air. Yeah. It's more precise. And he whiffed, but luckily, he put together, and it's very vulnerable. Only 32%, but off stage, not... Ooh, platform mix-ups, but Weedle's that ready to right. cover. Yeah, so the instinct there is just bear off, but that was really smart, because he knew that just at that percent, he could do the UA and still barely come out into that. I really yeah. thought that was another stitch for some reason. Not getting the fair out this time. See, if you all knitted too, <laughs> with this side, with this RGN. Yeah. I, don't, I don't think I've ever seen him knit. I've seen him no. do it very, very infrequently. Yeah, so it's not even, it's not that hard, the timing is just weird, because you have to like wait for the float to end. Okay. It's not like instant. Really. Yeah, yeah. It's a muscle memory sort of thing, but you yeah. can't just uh, mash it Doing out. Doing the buffer version is extremely hard. Where you buff the float with C stick. Uh huh. But yeah, I think it's worth learning. I didn't know C could buffer with C stick. Oh yeah. I did, no, yeah, obviously. you buffer the jump. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. Oh, all right. I see it. So game one to uh, Weedle. Pretty, pretty clean. Uh, the. Yep. Not sure what they're laughing about. There might have been joke of Fox King, but uh, unfortunately today's not the day. Sheik showing off for media shield there, taking a turn up and all three hits without getting immediately poked. poked. Yeah. And also not seeing the puff that we saw on winners, despite yeah. it being a fairly decent matchup. Trying to get a spot dodge there, got down smashed. I don't think spot dodge is ever really good against Peach, because yeah. grab is her only thing that's going to lose to it, or she also has Nair. Among other things, and down smash. Yeah. And even D tilt has a really nice timing to it. Yeah. Roll is much better against her than other relevant characters. Yeah, but even for some characters, roll towards her gets punished. Yeah, like a down smash. Down smash ever. Still. Yeah, you can roll away in situations like that and just forfeit the center stage. So, like, there, like, uh, Mises up for roll away. He's actually up four stocks to three, but fairly high percent. To the platform? Yeah, another good mix up, but. Weedle ready to cover it again. Oh no. Yeah, see so there, just from the shenanigans of it, I've thrown that turn him right up to the platform. Oh, it is like does. almost good, because it does kind of cover it, but we it away, but I'm pretty sure they can crouch cancel it. Okay. The six not, couldn't really punish. I'd imagine she could punish that considering how big her grab is, but maybe not. I, you know? Alright, so, uh, Mesix just did uh, a pretty drop low edge guard, I think. He was definitely considering a wall jump forward air. It definitely looked like that he positioned is, himself really low. That is it for Sheik and Valko. That is good against Peach, specifically, because of how bad her aerial drift is on the up B. Mm -hmm. So he, he was almost out there. Yep, and this is looking very impressive so far. 
114 on uh ledge, the two stocks left. Now we got, got up B, didn't tech across the stage. Now Meeseeks has a pretty nice, even though it's so slight with uh, Sheik, his aerial drift on his forward airs, whether he comes yeah. in, stays still, or fades back, is actually so, so nice. And like you always, you know, well, against Meeseeks, you actually kind of question yourself every once in a while, it's like, why am I losing neutral? It actually almost always comes down to that drift, which way he's coming in. It's kind of, it's not conditioning, but he really just mixes it up well. A lot of down smash, even Sheik Shield not quite able to uh, take all of it. And I gotta watch some Eric Rock sets so I can beat that Gaki. Yeah. Uh, he's probably shielding and baiting out. Down oh smash. my god, another bomb. The RNG, too strong, I didn't even notice it. But, and not gonna help him. Oh. There's the uh, wall jump fair yeah. we were talking about. You gotta lead, yeah, when you gotta lead like this, that's worth going for. And Peach doesn't have like the immediate option to punish that, like Fox or Wall. Yeah, no. like a Shine Spike or a Downer. She's just so slow on the ledge. Not a lot of reason to not go for it. Down throw up air. Very Game clean win. Two to me seeks. Uh, so we went to the battlefield. So it was another three platform layout. I don't know what changed. It would probably be just something in me seeks thought process of how to play. Yeah, it is oh. strange because he wasn't having a necessarily hard time edge guarding him. Though his needles aren't looking quite the best from what I'm. I don't know. I barely know anything about the matchup, but I know that needles can do better than they are so far. They are an amazing give tool against Peach and Puff. Now, another thing we haven't really talked about in this matchup is Peach's crouch game. If Meeseeks. Now, Meeseeks has to not space very well for this to happen, but in the event that uh, he does come down with a bad aerial or bad F tilt uh, in neutral and Peach is for some reason next to him, that crouch cancel is going to win almost every time. Oh, yeah, if you position yourself right where the weak hit of Sheik's bear is, there's basically nothing she can do. And I almost think part of me feels like bear is one of the better options coming down because of how low the landing lag is, despite the negative hitbox. Yeah. Whereas, even though you're more likely to trade with bear... We got a dot eyes, by the way, which is still like fairly it. rare. Ooh, out there! Swap Actually, away. I think you should have made it there, because it would have killed, but either way. Fair enough. So 15% only separating these guys in the loser final winner. Yep. It moves on to play uh, Metal Reaper. Uh, as said in the chat, he is shielding and baiting out the down smash. It's not I don't think he's punishing it that consistently, but it is much better to just wait it out and say, okay, you did your thing. And then Ooh, down air. Just let the neutral reset if you're not confident punishing it. Now, these running. two set history is pretty interesting because I believe it, the first one went to Weedle, the second one went to Meeseeks. They played again in melee games, but I don't remember what the stock episode was. They either they went to Pokemon, and it was either three stocks to four, Meeseeks having to four, or four stocks to four. Meeseeks came out on top, and then now here they are again in yet another close bout. Uh, that was a really nice roll read by Weedle. That's because uh, that's just one of those experience things because we haven't really seen that in the set so far, but you know he knows that that's going to be their go-to option, so we just chase them. Yeah, yeah, the, the roll away. Looking for something cheeky with that, uh, throw the turn up ball. Maybe he wanted to turn around with it, miss the shot, shot off. Spot dodge, I guess he got out of a lot of trouble with the spot dodge because he only got hit by one hit of down smash. Yeah, Sheik's, Sheik's spot dodge is obviously a uh, raw frame data, I'm pretty sure it's the best. Spacey's obviously a shine, though. Uh, but that said, she also has short hop nair on shield, grab is amazing, yeah. and all that. Her nair is incredible. But 76% before 8, being able to see the stop. Yep. Yeah, now, he's gonna, now, now he's gonna down. fish for some more nairs and down smashes, because a solid hit will kill better than fair at this point. Well, fair will is more guaranteed to kill, but not the best. Oh, guaranteed. Stable. Gets yep. out there, 179, Every finally time. ending uh, Weedle's second yeah. stock. Strange for him to not make it at least somewhat ambiguous. Uh, if he was gonna be behind. Oh, the double turn up traps yep. him in the spinning oh. fortress of death outside. Yeah, he left last on. Another, no, not a stitch. Okay. That was a weak eye, though. Ooh, runs right into that down smash. Yep. Let's see, that's. Oof. It's just, yeah, this is close, but Widow is really just bettering him out. Veterinary, 
or, you know, he is more I don't experience. Know. Oh, okay, gotcha. Yeah, yeah, it's a veteran experience. Yeah. Uh, and Vedla and you know Weedle is just punishing so much harder. Like, we already see Meesix at 72, and I believe it was all off of one exchange off of the invincibility. There goes Meesix. Yep. That said, game one was a similar result, and he turned around game two. 2-1, so. Weedle out of his chair, popping off, not actually. Might be getting uh, water, yeah. So I'm guessing we're going to stadium. So counter pick advantage is now in Weedle's favor, regardless of what happens this game. If there is a game five, we will see it on Weedle's choice of stage. We won't oh. see it on Dreamland, though. It'll probably be foul. Yeah. FD? Yeah, I'm not sure about FD, because Sheik's needle camping is probably very annoying for me, on FD. Just do that's how she doesn't have, you know, great vertical movement. She can just float over it, the grounded needles. And her thing is both... Yeah, I'm not sure who suffers more on the recovery front on that stage in this matchup. But, but guessing, regardless, game four going to uh, Pokemon Stadium for Meeseeks is could see FD, last kind of thing. Though, because Meeseeks did win very solidly on Yoshi's. So that, that small area... Yep. Uh, it's not Ooh. like the most benefit. Yeah, it really nice. yeah, gets out there. Ends that stock super early. Yeah, that's not the most concrete reason to counterpick or not counterpick, but I do think it matters. It's a good indication, but just eats in there with, I believe, no jump. Uh, Meeseeks finally catching a break by not having Weedle pull a lot of uh, super good turnups, just a lot of normals. And, uh, Attacking on the percent here, 81. Ooh, gets out there again. Yeah, One really, more is going to do it, I believe. Yeah, he's going out there and still doing the... Sweetle was getting around the bear points quite a bit. So I do like the option just... Yeah, the adaptation damage. as well. Just okay. covering less space, but... Oof, yeah, out. he's... Yeah, well, he's in the air. He's just slapped. Ooh, gets there with the needle turnaround. Really, yeah, it's looking really nice right now. Now, in the melee games, this was the stage that they played on, and Meeseeks took it, although I don't remember, once again, if there was a stock deficit, but it looks like he might take it again here. 88% covers the roll towards center stage, and once again, an even game. There's not really a lot Meeseeks can do there to get away from Peach, so once he gets red, it's yeah. kind of have to accept it. So those were a couple of strange dash attacks. So she's at zero, and even if she didn't ASDI down, you're going to get punished. Yeah. Maybe they were just flubbed in for it. Yeah, there, it's good. Because the worst that happens is when she texts it. You know, turn it. Ooh, power shield. Kind of wasted on a yeah, grab, almost, but... Almost the two throw where he almost got pushed away, but somehow... Got the Balkan grab there. Right. Meeseeks chasing a little bit too yeah. much right now. I do like the tournament winner option there, because if you try to roll or something, Meeseeks will land on the stage. And then, you know, then he's playing Meeseeks game from there. Yeah. So tournament winner, the unexpected option, gets it right out of there. Alright, Meeseeks on his tournament stock. Losing very, finals. Very doable, but... But with Weedle's punish game... That, yeah, that was super good awareness. Oh, 73! A yeah. huge response! That's all off of him knowing that he can true crouch cancel the jab at that percent and still get this off of it. It was one opportunity that he took and then a micro uh, uh, interaction and just added up so uh, much percent. So, Peach in this matchup, Peach is definitely stronger on Fire and Rock. Do how good turnips are, and needles don't really compare like they wouldn't say in a tough matchup. Uh, he should be knitting. He's just farming right now. He just like to see some grinding knitting. out some turnips. Left the computer on overnight, and he's just having him auto pull. But that Nair trade will do it. Weedle 3 1 over Meeseeks, and into grand finals we go. A run back of yep. winners' finals Weedle, Metal Reaper, best of five. Find tonight's bracket at smash.gg.